oh, I have the go. Okay. So thank you all. And I, I love this, this platform with all of these great comments. Just the energy and the support is, is really fantastic. So uh, thanks for that. Now that I'm on the speaker side, I appreciate and like it even more. Um, my name is Laura Schultz. I am the head of strategy here at the Leibniz Supercomputing Center. And it, it's really a pleasure to be able to talk to you today about the Bavarian quantum computing environment, um, what it is today, where we think it's going, uh, some of the things, and, and, and really just to, to give you an idea of, of how great this environment is and uh, to have that chance to talk to you. So I am gonna go ahead and start with a quote from a Bavarian that I'm fairly certain that everybody in this conference knows. And let me, yes, there we go, uh, Werner Heisenberg. So Werner Heisenberg was born in Würzburg. He studied in Munich. He studied at the Ludwig Maximilians Universität, the same one that I did. So I'm very proud to be a fellow alumni with him. And as I was reading through some of his some of his notes and some of his quotes, I landed on one that really resonates very strongly with me, and I wanted to share that with you. He said, uh, "There is a fundamental error in separating the parts from the whole. The mistake of atomizing what should not be atomized." Unity and complementarity constitute reality. And I really love this because I think that this is a thematic backbone. This is a, a red thread through a lot of what I want to talk about today. Unity and complementarity where the parts amplify and strengthen each other. And so with that in mind, I want to show you Bavaria. So this is Germany. This is the state of Bavaria and Orange, in case you haven't been able to come and visit us yet. Munich is in the middle there. Now, a lot of great things in Bavaria, but if you don't know anything else about Bavaria, I hope that you know that we throw the whole world a party uh, every September and October. This year, unfortunately, not with Corona, but this is going to change, and hopefully again in the near future. So Really great attitude and, and, and um, friendliness in Bavaria. It's a really wonderful place to live, and I, I feel very fortunate to be here. Now, with coming back to, to the nuts and bolts of this, it also offers this very dense network of, of universities and institutions. So Bavaria and then in the space of Munich too in this, in this concentration, there is a lot going on in tech. Uh, Bavaria in general is a very progressive environment. So we have the headquarters of, of Fraunhofer Society, of Max Planck Institute, Helmholtz Association. We've got universities of excellence in the Technical University of Munich, Ludwig Maximilian's Universität that I've already mentioned, uh, great universities uh, in Erlangen, in Riga, in Würzburg, and then we've got uh, Applied, um, the Applied Universities, uh, that's Sabina Tornow is here, uh, she is from Munich University or Hochschule München, uh, Degendorf, we've got this really great tightly uh, wound ecosystem of really strong academic institutions uh, that as we move into the quantum space, we are incredibly well suited. Now part of this is our contribution to this, where I come from, and this is the Leibniz Supercomputing Center of the Bavarian Academy of Sciences and Humanities. So this has been around for quite a while, and we do an awful lot for the community, and we're very proud of that. We're the IT service backbone and the user uh, facility for a lot of the, uh, the needs that our users need in order to produce really great science and to push the boundaries of innovation in their field. So we run the gamut. Our portfolio is very large. We, we service the, um, the Munich Scientific Network, uh, many different touch points across the entire academic complex that, that we network and take care of, virtual reality and visualization center, Big data is a big area for us uh, in terms of uh, storage and then also in our machine learning and AI data centers. And then, of course, we uh, have supercomputers, uh, really great ones, and we run really the whole portfolio from email, network storage, cloud, all the way across training, a really great training program. And then we've got a cadre of scientists, um, PhD scientists who help really bridge the, the um, really bridge between the end users and our facilities. And then also we have our own R&D where we develop capabilities and resources that turn around and become a benefit to amplify our users and their needs. Now, um, I, I know this is a quantum computing um, 
talk, but you know, I, I do come from the HPC world. I consider myself an HPC girl first and foremost. And uh, this is our flagship system, SuperMook NG. Now, uh, I know that the physicists like to call it a classical computer. I just call it a supercomputer because it is. And uh, this was just seeded last year and is producing really great science for our for our users and really pushing their boundaries of, of capability. Now, moving into the quantum space solely, we also have a really great brain trust. So the idea of this network and this unity working together, we have, uh, we have focal points within our ecosystem that are very strong in terms of algorithm development, uh, simulator and emulator development, programming modeling development, quantum computing hardware development, quantum application development, quantum machine learning is an area where we have several folks researching in, and an area that we're trying to break ground in as well is the uh, high performance computing, quantum computing integration space. So I wanna talk a little bit about that because it is it is really blue ocean space and a place that we're putting a flag in into the ecosystem and trying to build up. So with LRZ and in partnership with the Technical University of Munich and others as we're building this up, we're really looking at how uh, quantum computers and HPC systems are going to work together and how we're going to move even to the next level of, of supercomputing and everything that that offers. So right now in, in, in the environment, we have you know cryostats and, and those QPUs. They're separate entities. We want to look at how supercomputers and quantum computers work together side by side, how you split algorithms um, with them, how you connect them. Um, you know, scheduling, does the, does the HPC control the, the wires? Do, uh, are they sitting across on the other side of the room, the microwave wires? Are they sitting across on the other side of the room with Ethernet connections running between them? How is that going to work? How are we going to unify programming models across these systems? So not only looking at them as we scale up quantum systems themselves and have separate components of HPC and QC, but then also what actually happens if can we put a quantum accelerator directly in the architecture of, of an HPC? And this is really powerful ideas that we've been working on and developing uh, our program for. And this is an area that if you're interested in this space, we want to talk to you because uh, we really plan on, on uh, building up this environment or building up this contribution to the environment, which is already quite strong. So I want to tell you a little bit um, about, and unfortunately I can't really see my time. I think I'm okay. Um, the Bavarian quantum community. So this really shows how the unity and the um, uh, complementarity works, right? So I really want to highlight the Walter Meisner Institute because this is really a, a powerful contribution that we have in, on, on the Bavarian team. We have uh, Stefan Philippe, who just recently come from IBM and Ruchlikon, who is, is taking the helm of that. And we know that there's going to be some really great processor development coming from that. Munich Center for Quantum Science and Technology. This is Tatiana, I know she's on here. Um, this is a center, uh, cluster of excellence. It has about seven research units that really covers the entire gamut of quantum science and technology. And they do everything from, um, from Outlook or from uh, outreach to job posting. So if you wanna to come to Bavaria, please go check out MCQST and see what's available. Unternehmer Tum is um, the, the entrepreneurial branch that helps the, the students get out of the universities and into the um, incubator space and into their own companies. And they're also looking at what the industrial uh, interest and impact of quantum computing is. So check that out. I want to give a shout out to Push Quantum because this is a really great story. This is uh, some of our best and brightest university students have come together and said, hey, you know what, we want to be the next CEOs of quantum companies, and we want to figure out how to make this happen. So we want to draw on the resources of the community, have you work with us, have interdisciplinary approaches uh, to quantum and all the other application spaces and do that. And then mine is the uh, Bavarian Quantum Computing Exchange with my uh, co-founder, Luigi Iopichino. And every month we try to bring together some of the most uh, amazing speakers in the quantum space to have a conversation about what is available in the community now and where we're going. Next month, we actually have Honeywell speaking. So come and check that out. 
Now, Denise asked me a question that I wanted to try to bring this idea of unity and complementarity into. She asked me, what did I want to be when I grew up? So I grew up in the U.S. in the 80s were my formative years. So like a lot of us, I wanted to be an astronaut. Um, absolutely smitten with science and exploration. And this is something that is fundamentally seeded into me and hasn't quite yet, never quite made it to an astronaut. Actually, I made it into a lot of other fields. So I'm almost 50 and I have had quite a spectrum of jobs. I do not have a linear path in my career field. Uh, and that's just some of them as I wrote them up. And I even put a picture of myself when I was an animal trainer. Now, here's the thing that I wanted to tell everyone. Um, I used to be really embarrassed about writing up my resume. If I were going to be a Linux system administrator, I, I was terrified. How am I going to, I'm a SU supervisor. How am I going to feed that in to my resume and have them take me seriously? But here's the thing, especially in new spaces like quantum, um, all of the skills, the totality of yourself, the complementarity of the skills that you have, this is what makes you incredibly valuable. And now that I'm in my position of head of strategy, I am drawing on lessons, on experience and expertise that I gained in all of these in order to apply. And I think that this makes me a powerful contribution to the community that I'm in. And, and, I, and I've, I stopped being embarrassed. So I want you all to think about that, especially as you're moving into new spaces, because the complementarity of yourself is, is a really powerful asset that you bring. Okay, so I want to leave with one last quote in the minute and a half that I have left. Being in the astronaut space, right, being totally smitten with science and all, um, this is a quote that if I could take my camera right now and point it at my office door, you would see it. And this was John F. Kennedy talking about going to the moon in 1962. And he basically said that we choose to do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because the goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept, one that we are unwilling to postpone, and one that we intend to win. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about Werner Heisenberg. I want you to think about John F. Kennedy. So as we bring together, as we unify, as we strengthen our parts by becoming a whole together in the quantum environment, because we have to do that, this is a big, big challenge. Being able to have a vision and being able to, to accept the struggle to get there and understanding that the struggle is going to get us the lessons, the experience, the expertise that we need to achieve it. It's, this is all incredibly powerful and this is what we need to move forward into this space together as a community. So this was a very quick overview and I would love to have you in Bavaria at some point. The beer gardens are open. Uh, until then, you know, everyone stay safe and thank you so very much for the opportunity to tell you a little bit about the quantum environment here in Bavaria and to uh, share some insight with you. Thank you so much.